Thank you for viewing our Talent Intelligent Tour. This presentation has been tailor-made for a variety of audiences and across a variety of talent management topics. As you view the video, hover over the timeline to explore the topics covered and jump to any section of particular interest. Upon conclusion, you will understand the credible foundation upon which Talent Intelligent was created how our one strategy, five applications approach is differentiated in the marketplace, and how we partner with our rapidly growing clients. Talent Intelligent was founded by industry thought leaders, Roger Pierman and Robert Eichinger. These founders have been shaping the talent management industry for decades. And as you can see, have played leading roles in the development of the competency movement through the creation of Lominger, FYI, For Your Improvement, the Leadership Architect, the Pierman Personality Integrator, co-authoring the book You, and are responsible for the Nine Box for Performance and Potential, Learning Agility, and the 70-20-10 Learning Methodology. Talent Intelligent is their best work yet. The Talent Intelligent suite of tools is a whole system solution that allows you to solve for tomorrow's talent challenges in all of the areas listed around this circle. From interviewing to development at all levels, and from succession planning to the development of high-performing teams, we can bolster your work. Our team has leveraged decades of research and experience to create five unique performance libraries. Each library tends to the specific knowledge, skills, and attributes needed to improve effectiveness for leaders, managers, individual contributors, high potentials, and teams. Ultimately, each of these areas of organizational life are unique, and our talent solutions take that into direct consideration. Our suite of tools is centered around a firm belief in using best practice strategies that are infused with up-to-date content. The primary best practice strategy that is used across the entire suite is card sorting. Card sorting has been used in the field of human resources and psychology for over 60 years. At its core, it allows a user to sort, filter, or rank cards based upon a question posed to the sorter. For example, what are the most important behaviors our teams must exhibit in order to ensure effectiveness in a remote teaming environment? Ultimately, this strategy allows for the context of each organization to be honored. Talent Intelligent has now created a next practice in talent management by taking card sorting and deploying it in a virtual environment. Virtual card sorting brings your stakeholders into the process of shaping your strategies early so that you can gain their insights and support later on. Virtual card sorts can be deployed across five performance libraries including leaders, managers, individual contributors, high potentials, and teams. Once certified, our qualified administrators gain access to virtual card sorting and our robust analytics dashboard. The future of HR must include the ability to make data-driven talent decisions, and your dashboard instantly supports this aim. After conducting a sort, your dashboard fills with instant reports that you can use to facilitate rich conversations. As a bonus, each report allows you to display your organization's logo. As reporting examples, you are now viewing our aggregate report. At its highest level, you will begin to see which behavioral-based roles were selected as most important by your sorters. In this instance, we asked what are the mission-critical roles and practices our leaders need to develop in order to effectively reach the goals of our strategic plan. The detailed report provides an added layer of analytics, including quantifying our top sorts and bottom sorts, viewing weighted differences, aggregate averages, and the percent agreement among your sorters. Further, you have the option of setting up multiple demographic data cuts that allow for a comparison of perspectives among sorters. What is the core result of using virtual card sorting? We know that early engagement by stakeholders creates support that your strategies will need. 
No longer will you need to push boulders up a hill. Success profiles can be built by level that take into consideration your organizational context. Lastly, you will begin to create a common language of leadership that informs important talent strategies. Everyone in talent acquisition shares a common goal. We all want to hire winners that add value, get things done the right way, and can grow into the leaders of tomorrow. As you know, this shared goal is hard to accomplish, yet the quality of your interviewing and hiring approach can increase your probability of success. Seminal research shows that untrained interviewers who are left to use their gut or intuition in making hiring decisions make false judgments and are not accurate in knowing what to interview for. Not surprisingly, unstructured interviews are inaccurate in predicting job performance. We know that behavioral-based formats are distinct and when used with structure and training, increase outcomes and reduce bias. Talent intelligence point of view is founded in the best practices that show interviewers need to be adequately trained inside of a planful, structured, and consistently applied process. Further, when research has been used to provide an easy-to-use behavioral format, hiring decisions improve. We have developed a level-specific approach to interviewing and hiring through our Hello Interview Guides. You know that the work worlds of leaders, managers, and individual contributors are unique, and so do we. Therefore, leveraging our level-specific approach to inform interviewing ensures that your approach adapts to whoever is sitting across the table or screen from you. At a simple level, our approach includes three primary areas. First, the creation of a success profile for a position or level. To learn about our use of virtual card sorting in this step, skip to the prior chapter using the timeline on this video. Once you have created a success profile, you can utilize both our pre-employment fit appraisal and or our Hello Interview Guide Builder to create your structured process. The fit appraisal puts you in control of defining success for a position or level via card sorting. Once this picture of success is painted, your talent acquisition team can seamlessly launch a welcome email to your candidates to start the process. In approximately 15 to 20 minutes of their time, candidates complete a self-sort against their perceived top, middle, and bottom roles and practices. When complete, your recruiters are provided with a fit report that includes the candidate's percentage agreement to the profile, fit index, difficulty index, potential index, team contribution index, and recommended behavioral-based interview questions and probes to ask during your face-to-face -face interview process. Used in conjunction with the fit appraisal or as a standalone benefit, our qualified administrators also gain access to our interview guide builder. This tool allows users to create a nearly unlimited amount of customized interview guides with your organization's logo. Your hiring managers then have a turnkey resource for conducting consistent, standardized interviews as they are prepared with questions, follow-up probes, and scorecards. To summarize, after you have built your success profiles, your organization can utilize the fit appraisal to quickly determine where you will focus your interview and to be equipped with information about the candidate that you have never had before. You are also able to train managers to use the interview guides so that they are better prepared to deliver consistent, standard, structured interviews. And lastly, you can utilize our Hello Digital Interview Guide to build highly customized interview guides that meet the unique needs of your organization. The world of work continues to increase its pace of productivity, reliant upon teams to get things done. When reviewing decades of research, we know 
that successful and effective teams are similar in their characteristics. Likewise, unsuccessful teams have many dysfunctions that occur, which includes having a team leader who is a bad fit, a team that is collectively weak in their knowledge, skills, and attributes, teams that are not aware of or don't follow best practice processes, and you can likely envision a team with a disruptive or noisy team member that derails progress. Further, as teams move remote, research shows that managing teams in a remote manner is more complex. This can be exacerbated when we simply promote the best team member to be the team leader. Our team library is referred to as CASAT, the Knowledge, Skills, and Attributes of Teams. Through the collection of 100 years of experience and review of 50 years of research on high-performing teams, CASAT details the drivers and practices that teams need to develop and exhibit to enhance their effectiveness, whether in a face-to-face -face or a remote teaming environment. Our performance library research resulted in the creation of 10 drivers of teams listed here. These drivers are supported by behavioral-based practices. As within our entire suite of tools, the drivers and practices most important for your teams to develop are unique based upon your organizational environment and your team member composition. With our virtual card sorting approach, you can answer the question, what are the most important drivers and markers our teams need to develop in order to ensure effectiveness? Further, our partners gain access to the top maladies of teams that help practitioners diagnose the exact problems occurring in teams so that you can create well-informed solutions. Are your teams struggling in a physical or a remote environment? Our tools can help. The talent tools you will find include a development guide for teams entitled DIY for Teams, card sorting for use in physical or virtual formats, and team diagnostic placemats to provide the library in an easy to access format. If you are ready to discover how your teams are showing up today, launch our Team 360 options that include a survey focused on a team member called our Learner Centric 360, or focused on the entire team with our Team Centric 360. The goal? Getting quickly to actionable feedback that enhances outcomes. A recent Learning and Development Global Sentiment Survey demonstrated that the need for and use of coaching strategies inside organizations is on the rise. If you are considering investing in enhanced programs surrounding coaching and feedback, it is important to be grounded in the top-line research best practices first. Research shows that most line managers are simply not great coaches, yet the value of creating a feedback-rich environment allows the collective organization to grow. However, with the use of both internal and external coaches in the intentional training of internal coaches to use calibrated or relative rankings inside their 360s, great strides can be made in your return on investment. When done well, coaches can work at all levels of an organization on a variety of developmental priorities that match an individual's unique need. A recent Forbes article supports this point by showing that 70% of individuals who received coaching benefited in their effectiveness, and 86% of companies stated that they recouped their original investment in their initiatives. But we have to ask the question, in order for coaching to be effective, what are we coaching towards? Are we using a broadly applied, off-the-shelf model that does not adapt to our organization and to our learners? Or can we discover what behaviors are most important inside our unique organizational context and to our individual employees? Further, how will we measure effectiveness? Talent Telligent answers these questions starting with card sorting. Card sorting allows an organization to utilize our research-based performance libraries to engage your stakeholders in creating customized success profiles that match what matters most inside your organization. This allows coaching and feedback to be anything but off the shelf. 
Each success profile can then be used to launch the most robust way to provide employees with feedback through a 360 survey. For a more detailed look at virtual card sorting, navigate to the virtual card sorting chapter of this video using the chapter markers on the timeline. These surveys can be used in all of the areas you see listed with leaders, managers, individual contributors, high potentials, and teams. Our survey platform allows you to have it your way by launching a 360 using our card sorting experience for your raters or a traditional Likert scale. Both processes lean upon using the calibrated approach that we covered in our top line research overview in this section. Each 360 provides the coach and learner with five unique reports that allow for deep analysis, reflection, interpretation, and ultimately increased self-awareness that leads to action. These reports include the placemat highlight report, the summary report, the roles and practices detail report, the hidden strengths and blind spots report, and our written comments report. In conjunction with the 360, your learners are able to access rich development material found in our printed development guides, which we call DIY, Develop It Yourself. For organizations interested in digital development, Develop It Yourself Digital is now available. Scalable to large populations within minutes and customized to your organization, you can have the confidence knowing that digital development is being deployed and built on decades of behavioral-based research. Additionally, DIY Digital includes the career architect, driven by AI, authentic intelligence. Your learners can use pre-populated prompts in the career architect to explore the most important roles and practices needed for development in their organization. Additionally, they are able to type any question that they would like to gain key insights and developmental tips and receive responses within seconds. How might your organization benefit from having your career architect sitting in the wings guiding your employees to increased effectiveness? If you are deciding on if you should use internal coaches, external coaches, or a combination of both, we have you covered. We are prepared to certify your internal team towards self-sufficient use of our coaching and feedback tools in order to increase your internal capabilities. Further, we can partner with your team to provide expert coaching and feedback delivery services. A recent Association of Talent Development survey reports that just 35% of organizations have a formalized succession planning process. The time to take action on this item is now. If you are ready to improve your succession planning processes, it is important to be grounded in the top-line research best practices first. At a high level, every organization needs bench strength in four talent groups. Visionaries and strategists, operational masters, stakeholder relators, and deep technical experts. This is critical as the top 2% of the organization makes most of the material decisions. You know that succession planning is a challenge due in part to the fact that it takes 30 years to build effective top-level leaders who then have their tenures last about seven years. This is why succession planning needs to be both horizontal to account for lateral movement and development and vertical to identify promotions and top talent at all levels. Despite the fact that high potential is real and can be measured, organizational assessment of potential is still weak. When done well, the process would be well advertised, but the results should not. This is all accomplished by leveraging C-suite support and quality talent management professionals. At Talent Intelligent, we have a differentiated point of view on this topic, given our level-specific approach and performance libraries. Research shows that every organization has tops, middles, and bottoms, as Barry Oshry once said. We refer to these unique work worlds as leaders, managers, and individual contributors, which all require different sets of knowledge, skills, and attributes to be effective. For succession planning to be robust, 
we need to tend to timelines of developing our employees across the system, not just at the top, while also verifying who has the ingredients of high potential across the system. Further, effective succession planning includes using a common language to make great hires, intentionally develop talent at all levels, and identify potential. But your organization is unique. It is different than your competitors and certainly different than other industries. Therefore, you need solutions that take that fact into account. Talent Intelligent addresses this need with card sorting. Card sorting allows an organization to utilize our research-based performance libraries to engage your stakeholders in creating customized success profiles that match what matters most inside your organization. By defining success at all levels, we begin the process of making great hires and providing engaging development. For a more detailed look at virtual card sorting, navigate to the virtual card sorting chapter of this video by using the chapter markers on the timeline. To make great hires, your success profiles can be utilized in both our pre-employment fit appraisal and our Hello Interview Guide Builder for creating a structured hiring process. First, the fit appraisal puts you in control of defining success for a position or level via card sorting. Once this picture is painted, your talent acquisition team can seamlessly launch a welcome email to your candidates. In approximately 15 to 20 minutes, candidates complete a self-sort against their perceived top, middle, and bottom roles and practices. When complete, your recruiters are provided with a fit report that includes the candidate's percent agreement to your profile, fit index, difficulty index, potential index, team contribution index, and recommended behavioral-based interview questions and follow-up probes to ask during your face-to-face -face interview process. Used in conjunction with the fit appraisal, or as a standalone benefit, our qualified administrators also gain access to our interview guide builder. This tool allows users to create a nearly unlimited amount of customized interview guides with your organization's logo. Your hiring managers then have a turnkey solution for conducting consistent, standardized interviews as they are prepared with questions, follow-up probes, and scorecards. To intentionally develop talent at all levels, your learners are able to access rich development material found in our printed development guides, which we call DIY, Develop It Yourself. For organizations interested in digital development, Develop It Yourself Digital is now available. Scalable to large populations within minutes and customized to your organization, you can have the confidence knowing that digital development is being deployed and built on decades of behavioral-based research. Additionally, DIY Digital includes the career architect, driven by AI, authentic intelligence. Your learners can use pre-populated prompts in the career architect to explore the most important roles and practices needed for development in their organization. Additionally, they are able to type any question that they would like to gain key insights and developmental tips and receive responses within seconds. How might your organization benefit from having your career architect sitting in the wings guiding your employees to increased effectiveness? Lastly, succession planning must include the identification of high potential talent throughout the organization. Our high potential solutions are research-based and tested with experience. The result is a performance library of the 12 drivers and 25 practices of high potential, which can be used to find and develop high potential talent. Without intentional effort in this space, high potentials are likely to leave your organization seeking the care and feeding that they desire. To begin identifying high potential talent in your organization, we provide our certified clients with use of our RAND career profile. This survey is completed by one or two managers and results in detailed reporting 
that the talent management team can utilize to strengthen succession planning efforts. RAND is an acronym that aligns to one core element of the report. Each report provides a high potential index across the following areas. R stands for the ability of an individual to learn and execute the key roles and practices that they will need as an individual contributor, manager, and leader across their career arc. A stands for their ability to learn and execute 22 key assignments that they will encounter throughout their career. N stands for norms and provides you with a comparison of their results against our normative database of high potentials. And D stands for difficulty. How difficult is it for the individual to learn the drivers and markers of high potential over time? Upon verifying your high potentials, you have the ability to run group reports to identify themes and patterns in the organization. Ultimately, this informs which broad hiring and development strategies you may need to create. With your high potentials identified, you can also launch a high potential 360 survey to provide robust multi-rater feedback to this group. Lastly, our high potential field guide ensures you know how to conduct interviews to identify potential early, as well as develop potential further in your workforce. At Talent Intelligent, we believe that development strategies should be uniquely designed to meet the needs of all employees at all levels to ensure system-wide returns on investment. If you are ready to improve your development efforts, it is important to be grounded in the top line research best practices first. This starts with knowing that different people need different training with equitable access. Further, the use of the 70-20-10 learning methodology is grounded in multiple research studies and has been proven to work. This includes the use of assignmentology, which turns the workplace into a classroom for everyone. Feedback-rich cultures outperform low feedback environments. And further, generally speaking, about one-third of managers will be developmentally focused, while you can expect one-third to chill your efforts. Yet, with the use of internal and external coaches, you can have a positive impact and retain your best talent. Ultimately, you will have to answer why employee development is important to your stakeholders. It is universally recognized as a strategic tool for growth, productivity, retention, and engagement. Your organization is competing in environments that are changing every day, and the result is your employees must be upskilled and reskilled continuously. This fuels your ability to promote from within, build trust, and save money through increased output. Referenced earlier, using the 70-20-10 learning methodology ensures that development is viewed through the lens of research and is well grounded by considering opportunities off the job, such as classroom learning, near the job through mentors and coaches, and on the job through key assignments and experiences. For a deeper dive on the origin and background of this model, view our 70-20-10 video on our YouTube channel. At Talent Intelligent, we have a differentiated point of view on this topic, given our level-specific approach and performance libraries. Research shows that every organization has tops, middles, and bottoms, as Barry Oshry once said. We refer to these unique work worlds as leaders, managers, and individual contributors, which all require different sets of roles and behavioral-based practices to be developed to drive effectiveness. Our partners determine which roles and practices are most important in their organization using card sorting. Card sorting allows an organization to utilize our research-based performance libraries to engage stakeholders in creating customized success profiles that match what matters most inside your organization. This allows development at all levels to occur in a manner that is anything but off the shelf. For a more detailed look at virtual card sorting, navigate to the virtual card sorting chapter of this video using the chapter markers on the timeline. 
To intentionally develop talent at all levels, your learners are able to access rich development material found in our printed development guides, which we call DIY, Develop It Yourself, designed for just-in-time learning. If your organization is interested in deploying development dashboards to large populations, we have your solution. Customized to your unique needs and built on decades of behavioral-based research, your learners can gain access to research-based content and development tips, including the Career Architect, driven by AI, Authentic Intelligence. There are two unique tools that your organization can use to deploy digital development. First is Develop It Yourself Digital. In this circumstance, the development dashboard is built and launched directly to your learners by the qualified administrators within minutes. Your second option is the Career Blueprint. In this circumstance, the development dashboard is built based upon the completion of a short self-survey completed by the learner. This allows the learner to put their fingerprints on their developmental selections. Let's take a quick look at the features and functionality of the Career Architect. Your learners can use pre-populated prompts in the Career Architect to explore the most important roles and practices needed for development in their organization. Additionally, they are able to type any question that they would like to gain key insights and developmental tips and receive responses within seconds. How might your organization benefit from having your career architect sitting in the wings guiding your employees to increased effectiveness? If your organization is ready to take a deeper developmental dive, we provide 360 surveys that cover our leader, manager, individual contributor, high potential, and teams libraries. Each 360 provides the coach and learner with five unique reports that allow for deep analysis, reflection, interpretation, and ultimately increased self-awareness that leads to action. These reports include the placemat highlight report, the summary report, the roles and practices detail report, the hidden strengths and blind spots report, and our written comments report. 360 assessments are the most robust way in which to provide your employees with developmental feedback. If you are ready to improve your feedback efforts by using 360s, it is important to be grounded in the top line research best practices first. It is very easy for organizations to collect different assessment tools over time. This creates conflicting language models, and more, which decreases their effectiveness and ability to be scaled. Therefore, it is important to adopt a common language of talent and performance so that the organization is collectively on the same page. We know that there is a package of knowledge, skills, and attributes that are needed to fill any job. These packages at Talent Intelligent come in the form of libraries, which we will talk about more in the coming slides. We know that talent succeeds in different ways across the system. To support these unique pathways, managers and coaches must be involved. Yet oftentimes, managers tend to overrate or even hesitate to provide negative feedback to their employees. This is why 360s and assessment centers work best due to their accuracy compared to self-report surveys. In your work, you will have to answer the question, what is a 360? 360 assessments are the most robust method for providing developmental insights and highlighting a learner's hidden strengths and blind spots as they allow for multiple points of views and perspectives to be shared across the Raider groups you see listed on this slide. Often, 360s become a wake-up call to the learner in order to right-size their contribution. Further, when considering the use of 360s, your purpose matters as it informs your design, implementation, communication, and engagement. While a primary aim of 360s is to provide feedback, this does not need to be the only goal. Organizations are using 360s to gain data analytics 
that provide value to both the individual and to inform business strategy. Additionally, 360 feedback is the most commonly used tool for identifying high potentials and strengthening your bench. When utilizing a 360, it is important to know that the technology is both art and science. Homegrown 360s often use poorly written items, lopsided scales, and risky reporting with quite dire consequences. Yet 360 is here to stay. It is a core tool you can rely on to help employees learn and develop, and given the prior point, using a reputable vendor is vital. Lastly, research shows that coaches will not be replaced by artificial intelligence, as a good coach's ability to interpret and contextualize results needs to remain in the hands of human beings. If your organization is ready to take a deeper developmental dive, we provide 360s that cover our leader, manager, individual contributor, high potential, and teams libraries. Our survey platform allows you to have it your way by launching a 360 using our card sorting experience for your raters or a traditional Likert scale. Each 360 provides the coach and learner with five unique reports that allow for deep analysis, reflection, interpretation, and ultimately increased self-awareness that leads to action. These reports include the placemat highlight report, the summary report, the roles and practices detail report, the hidden strengths and blind spots report, and our written comments report. In conjunction with the 360, your learners are able to access rich development material found in our printed development guides, which we call DIY, Develop It Yourself, designed for just-in-time learning. For organizations interested in digital development, Develop It Yourself Digital is now available. Scalable to large populations within minutes and customized to your organization, you can have the confidence knowing that digital development is being deployed and built on decades of behavioral-based research. Additionally, DIY Digital includes the career architect, driven by AI, authentic intelligence. Let's take a quick look at the features and functionality of the career architect. Your learners can use pre-populated prompts in the career architect to explore the most important roles and practices needed for development in their organization. Additionally, they are able to type any question that they would like to gain key insights and developmental tips and receive responses within seconds. How might your organization benefit from having your career architect sitting in the wings guiding your employees to increased effectiveness? High potential is real. It can be measured, it can be developed, and it is needed in your organization. If you are ready to improve your ability to verify and develop high potentials, it is important to be grounded in the top-line research best practices first. We know that true high potentials are rare, and that potential without development remains unrealized potential. All organizations need high potentials that typically fall across four groups visionaries and strategists, executors and operators, relators and deep technicals. High potentials are not without headaches as they tend to be harder to manage and have high expectations for their bosses. Historically, it is common to lean upon line managers to assess potential, but research shows that they are not very accurate in this process. Thankfully, potential can now be determined using a research-based questionnaire so that you are ready to enhance and develop them upon discovery. We also know that the value of people with high potential is exponential. Collectively, we know pretty much everything there is ever going to be about the knowledge, skills, and attributes that make up this phenomenon. We know where potential comes from and also the types of exposures and experiences needed to be developed to their maximum capabilities. Further, we know what they need to develop and what needs to be provided, including good bosses and talented HR professionals. 
The only problem is that all of this is not being done, and the result is that we have lost the war for talent. This is supported by many surveys, which show that executives don't think that they are doing a very good job at developing their bench strength. When we say that potential is rare, it is fair to picture potential on a positively skewed distribution with a very few verified high potentials found at the high end and most others distributed around the lower end of potential. Second, the percentage of high potentials is at best 5% of the general population and can be even smaller for organizations when considering different fields and areas of interest. So the question is, what is potential? Could you tell if you saw one? What do they look like? What do they do? How do they act? What do they sound like? At Talent Intelligent, we have put our arms around 50 years of research to do the heavy lifting for you on these questions. The result was the discovery of 12 drivers and markers and 25 behavioral-based practices displayed by those with high potential. These drivers, markers, and practices are all observable and can be used to estimate potential at any point on the career line. Our partners are trained to spot those with high potential and know what to do next by having access to the secret sauce that differentiates these important members of your team. Ultimately, spotting potentials is supported by the use of our RAND career profile to verify perspectives and better understand your talent pipeline through group reports. Then, a CASAP 360 can be implemented to create actionable plans to elevate potential when found. Each RAND career survey includes the RAND Potential Index. RAND is an acronym that aligns to one core element of the report, and each report provides a high potential index across these areas. R stands for the ability of the individual to learn and execute the key roles and practices they will need as an individual contributor, manager, and leader across their career arc. A stands for their ability to learn and execute 22 key assignments that they will encounter throughout their career. N stands for norms and provides you with a comparison of their results against our normative database of high potentials. D stands for difficulty. How difficult is it for the individual to learn the drivers and markers of high potential over time? Lastly, our high potential field guide ensures you know how to conduct interviews to identify high potentials early, as well as develop potential further in your workforce. Talent Intelligent truly provides a whole system solution for talent management practitioners. To gain access to use our tools, we make it simple by certifying practitioners with one strategy that you can use across all five applications. Our two-day or four half-day workshops equip you with the knowledge and skill to utilize every tool provided for leaders, managers, individual contributors, high potentials, and teams. You can be confident that you will receive a scalable solution that allows self-sufficient use with a partner nearby to provide support when needed. Each open enrollment session is conducted virtually with on-site options available by request. All participants receive a wide range of hard copy materials to ensure they have research-based tools to solve tomorrow's talent challenges, in addition to virtual tools made for today's remote working environment. Please take a moment to explore our interactive brochure as a way to help deepen your understanding of what a partnership with our team can look like, as well as to socialize your interest with others. Our brochure can be found on our homepage at talentelligent.com. Thank you for your interest in partnering with Talent Intelligent. We look forward to working with you soon.